hey, women, are you sick and tired of having periods every month that wipe out a week of your life, leave you feeling crabby and fatigued, exhausted and moody? And are you tired of the arguments you might have with your significant other friends or coworkers? because of the moodiness you're experiencing. I used to not like myself for one to two weeks each month because of my own hormone imbalances. So let's talk really quickly about some things that you can do to make next month's cycle completely different for you. The first thing that we're going to get into is intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting will help support keeping your hormones in balance. Now, if you don't intermittent fast at all, let's just briefly discuss what that is. It is eating within a window of time each day versus eating whenever you feel like it throughout the whole day for as long as you want to. If you don't intermittent fast, I suggest that you start out at fasting for 12 hours a day. So eat for 12 hours, take a break for 12 hours. And as this feels comfortable for you, then you can move into fasting for 13 hours and then 14 hours. It truly is like running a marathon. You don't want to just go out and jump into a fast that is extended, 24 hours, 36 hours. A lot of people don't even want to start and jump in at 16 hours. Allow your body to adjust and build up to it. The effects of intermittent fasting will truly allow your body to balance and adapt. Blood sugar is a big issue for our reproductive hormones, and intermittent fasting is a great way to balance your blood sugar and to build stability with that. So that is one way that you can start. Women who are still cycling, this is the cadence and rhythm for intermittent fasting. Day one of your cycle, the day that you start your cycle, your period, that is day one, week one. You can intermittent fast for weeks one through three. The fourth week, which is usually when most women will experience the most PMS, you're going to want to back off on the intermittent fasting. By that, I mean you don't want to do long fasts. You don't want to be doing 18, 24, 36-hour fasts. That fourth week of your cycle, you're going to want to give your body a break and support it in making the hormones that it needs that week, which means that you're going to also want to eat some additional carbohydrates. Now, I'm not saying go grab potato chips and junk food and process carbohydrates. Keep those carbohydrates clean. So sweet potatoes, quinoa, brown rice, get really quality carbohydrates into your diet, but don't deprive your body of those carbs when it needs it most in that fourth week of the cycle. So that's the information, quick tips on how you can support and balance your hormones on your own for free. Intermittent fasting is such a great tool because it's zero financial investment. And in an economy like we have right now, a lot of people really appreciate what they can do on their own. So jump into that and let me know if you do what that experience is like for you. Now, I have helped several women very recently with their hormones with three simple supplement products that have within two weeks, the last person sent me feedback, within two weeks, she had noticed the night sweats had stopped. She was sleeping nearly throughout the entire night when prior to starting those supplements, she was only sleeping a couple hours. Her mood had improved, her energy had improved, and overall, she could not believe the effects and benefits she was getting in such a short amount of time. If you have wrestled with and struggled through your cycle and you are sick and tired and fed up with it and yourself, and experiencing that within your body, I would love to help you with that. Drop me a comment, reach out to me. I'm here for you and we will find the solution that works for you. You really don't have to live another month of your life like this. Literally you don't. And once you don't, you're never gonna wanna go back. I promise. So if you have learned anything here this evening and would like to know more, if you are interested in learning what is likely driving your hormone chaos in the first place, by all means, hi, Anne, thanks for jumping on here. By all means, 
join me on July 25th in the free workshop where we will dive into the underlying cause of hormone chaos so that you can identify really what is truly pulling your body out of balance. I cannot wait to see you there. The link is in the description and I will also drop it in the comments. I would love to have you join me live, get all of your questions answered and begin to fully understand your body and how the body systems work together and why something hidden and unknown that even your doctor is not going to be identifying for you could be driving your hormone chaos. Click on that link, join me on the 25th. I look forward to seeing you there.